Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. I have a great article here from Mobile World Live. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So as Verizon continues deploying its CRAN, as they continue to deploy a VRAN in the uh, Samsung markets and then eventually in the Ericsson markets, that will come with all the latest and greatest technology that 5G can provide, the SA core. And it will also come with network slicing. Verizon uses network slicing to enhance video calls. And that's what that's what slicing can do for you. So you can put a dedicated slice to video calls for, so you can have a cleaner, crisper video call. You can put slicing towards first responder priority as what we've seen with T-Mobile and T-Priority and what we will very, very likely see with Verizon and AT&T. And then you can put slicing and priority towards other things, right? AT&T is going to use that to monetize and that's what we know as AT&T Turbo. That's going to get even better, I'm told, on a slice of the SA core. Right now it's already good, but it's going to get better once you slice that and give it give it a priority. So Verizon is really uh, moving as quickly as they can. Uh, Verizon launched enhanced video calling on iPhones by using 5G advanced features to enable network slicing to power the service, which improves communication in congested area. The operator stated enhanced video call calling provides a better communication experience across apps, including Zoom, FaceTime, and WhatsApp. In addition to clearer video calls, the operator stated lower latency, high quality video conferencing uh, minimizes disruption for business communications. I'm sure team calls and all that other stuff will be able to... Um, uh, look better on the SA core as well. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Verizon's already using network slicing as well. They're already starting to test and, and use uh, 5G advanced. So T-Mobile's not the only one doing that. Verizon is gaining some serious scale. Um, they, they got a good chunk of that out of the way this year, but next year they're going to get to the 70, 80, 90% of the entire network having some type of mid-band, C-band, CBRS, and... It's going to be great. It's going to be a great network and we'll see what happens. But I just wanted to share this with you guys, letting you guys know network slicing is being used by Verizon or starting to be used and they're starting to use 5G advanced features, which is what T-Mobile is also doing now commercially towards the end of this year. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.